Right, well, welcome, first of all. Good to see quite so many people that are enthusiastic about working so hard. So um, that's, that's, a, that's a great start. I was a bit disappointed last couple of weeks and we couldn't get more people, but it looks like all I needed to do was say there's a beast in and everybody comes. So well, welcome. Um, so first of all, just a little bit of a structure of what we're going to do today. First of all, I'm going to introduce the concept in, in general. So just a little bit of theory. So I'll just be talking for a couple of minutes now to begin with. Um, then we're going to go through 10 exercises, which um, I'll share my screen so you can see them and write them down. And we're going to be going through the technique of those exercises. So in all honesty, this will be um, more of a theory session today, more of a practice, making sure that we're doing things right. So we'll take each exercise one at a time. I'll do demonstrations. Then we'll do a minute on each of those. Then after that, we'll do a challenge to finish, which we'll time. So um, it will be easier today, give you a bit of a flavour of what we're doing. But it's important to me that we're doing things right. So whilst I want this to be a little bit of a, a no bullshit approach to exercise and you're coming in and working hard, that doesn't mean that we're not going to do things properly. So I just want to make sure that all of the exercises that we're doing, we're working with a good range of, um, of motion. OK, then, so a little bit of theory then about what the purpose of this, this, this is. Um, I really think there's sort of three steps to getting into, into shape. And, the first one is one that you all did a long time ago, make the decision to turn up at a gym. And that's a big decision, or maybe not at a gym, but you decided to get yourself out of bed, get your trainers on and start doing some training. So that's long gone now, but that's a major milestone for most people to pluck up the courage to go and start doing exercise. The second thing that makes a difference is the consistency. And all of you are consistent trainers, but you know, but that's what sets you apart from the people that turn up at the gym every now and again, you know, they don't get their results because they don't stay consistent. So you're already all in the consistency category. The third thing, and the most important thing to me, and this is where I think this session will appeal to people, is what we call progressive overload. And this is the difference really between someone that's lifting weights, say, and someone that's doing classes. What the, purpose, what the people in the classes tend to do, obviously we are generalizing massively here, but what happens when you go to classes is you generally maintain the level of fitness. You do the same thing. The same thing, and because it is quite varied, which is sometimes fun, it's not progressively overloading the body. So it's probably more by chance than design that you are doing, you're able to push yourself a little bit further. Because it's not structured, because you're not progressively overloading your body with any sort of science, the, the, you have a delay between achieving the goals that, um, that you could otherwise have had by doing what a weightlifter would do and consistently lift more weights or more reps. So they're overloading their body on a regular basis. So that's why I tend to see that people that are, I've got a stru structured training program where each time they're looking at their chart, do a little bit more reps on here, they tend to get better results than the people who just maintain a level of fitness by going to classes. So that's really what the purpose of this session is going to be about is whilst it is a class and we're not in a gym and we're not lifting weights, we can apply that last principle of progressive overload to the training. And that's why when we talk about the exercises being you know, boring, maybe, um, because they're consistent, we can see ourselves change. And that's why I should get a pen with you today. So I want to start tracking things. Um, I say whilst this, today's session will be a little bit of an introduction to how it works, moving forwards, we want to be able to document how, how we're doing and having targets each session. So where it seems simple, it's effective. So that's what we really want here is um, you know, successful progressive overload. So in terms of the, the sessions, so they, we, I'll use this to find our feet a little bit over the next coming, coming weeks, see the sorts of people that are getting involved and the crowds that we're attracting. So whilst it's designed to be you know, a military style training, I, I, I will take into account who, who is here. The sessions will stay fairly, fairly structured, so you'll, you know what's coming. So the real sort of purpose of the training sessions is that we're doing it together. I really want to create these sessions that you wake up in the morning and you think, oh, bollocks, I don't feel like doing that. But it's the fact that you, we all turn up at the same time and we all do it, and afterwards you feel great from it. So that's the kind of thing. It's not meant to be you know, to turn up and have a laugh. It's we will train seriously. You know what, you, know, you, could, you could easily do it by yourself, I suppose is the point. You could easily just take what the routine is and do it any time. But where I want this to be powerful is that we're making a commitment to each other. We all, we're all expecting to see each other in the morning and we push each other. So that's the kind of mentality that I'm looking for. Um, is this a class or a course? I mean, obviously it's a class because we're going to be people who are dipping in and out. But I try and want to try and bridge the gap a little bit by maybe running some regular assessments. I think it makes sense. And, and at the end of the month, we'll have some form of test, which we are training for, to make it like a military, military style. So you can um, work towards that assessment and we have some form of grade, some sort of challenge that we do. It doesn't mean that people can't drop in and in or out. 
uh, just means that we are, we've got a little bit of a process that whenever you join, we're sort of working towards something. Um, okay, right, I'm going to share my screen now and just to talk about what we're going to do today. Give me a thumbs up, can you see that? Yeah. Very helpful, was it? Okay, so these are the 10 exercises today. So if you write down these, these 10 exercises, um, and what we're going to do is one at a time, we're going to go through them. I'll demonstrate them and, and talk about how they should work. Uh, and then we'll all do them for a minute, one at a time. And then afterwards, using these same exercises, we'll, um, we'll do a challenge. Okay, you're all unmuted. Any questions at all? No. No, happy. So I'll, I'll leave you unmuted whilst I go through the, the technique. Just so if you do have any questions, you can just you can just shout. Uh, maybe in the workout, I'll turn you all off again so you can work as hard as you like and sweat, sweat and swear and do everything else. Alan, in privacy. sorry, what yeah. were the last two? I got to writing number eight. I just uh, didn't get nine. Renegade, Renegade Rose. Thanks. And burpees. Oh God! You can you can almost guarantee that the last exercise will always be perfect. Okay, right then, let's get to it. So squats. I mean, look, lots of you have known me for a long time, and you've, we've seen the things that we've been doing in the gym in terms of the different challenges and and squat jumps. <laughs> one of the exercises that has been extremely compromised over time, where we've often set challenges of, of do fifty or, or you know you have to do something within a time limit. What ends up happening is is we end up not doing them properly. So where a squat jump should be, or even a squat, is your bum coming lower than your knee and coming up, so keeping the chest up down a squat jump ends up being this which is not all you end up doing is just working this hip flexor rather than your glutes and and your quads so it should be here okay so on your feet let's have a go Woo! yeah so it's, it's getting down and up okay, so keep your chest up bum down Spring into action. Okay, if you don't like the impact, you can just do without a jump, but just get the depth in there. So proper depth. Wait, are we, are we doing this for a minute, Alan? No, if you're practicing. It's good. The minute is coming in a moment, though. So if everyone's happy, let's, let's have one minute starting now. So if you can, with the jump. So one minute. Fifteen seconds go. <clears throat> Keep moving, halfway. Shake them off if you need. Fifteen seconds to go. Couple more. Five, four, 
three, two, and one. Okay, very good. So that is your squat or squat jump. Exercise number two, press ups. And this is another one that's been compromised over time. Where, <coughs> what we want? Chest to the floor. I would prefer the knees and chest to the floor rather than this sort of movement that we've ended up seeing. When we're asking people to drop down and do 50 press-ups and it's just their shoulders and head shaking. Again, same thing with the squat. It's not working the right, the right muscle groups. So it's, it's chest to the floor and up. If that means from the knees, fine. So let's have a little practice. <laughs> Chest to the floor. See Alan, you. I didn't see you. Um, I didn't see you changing screens for other people. Yeah, okay. Sorry. That's okay. Let me uh, mute everybody. All right, can you, can you see me now, Helen? Yeah. So. Or knees. Good. All right then, let's have a practice for the minute. Three, two, <coughs> one. So let's go. So get the chest down to the floor and up. Take breaks when you need. Chest and your, and your triceps working here. Good. 15 seconds gone. Great work, halfway, keep moving. Few more reps. Let's chest down to the floor. Keep going. Ten seconds left. Five more reps. Keep going. Three, two, and one. Good. All right. Well done. So, uh, so we can do a lot of those two moves. All right. So back to the camera. The next one is the plank superman. So, from this position here, <coughs> arm at a time, stretching out. Yeah. So, all about the stability, this one. So you have a solid base with your hand, and then up in front. Okay. Straight into the minute, I'll look at the technique as you're doing it. So. Raising one up in front of you. Three, two, one, let's go. So keep your back flat, that's it. Feet as well if you like, Lorraine, very good. <laughs> Bonus. That's it, so try to avoid rotating too much. So keep your hips facing the ground. Excellent, Becky. Yeah, good. Alternating. Slower the better, really. Thirty seconds gone. Take a break when you need. Perfect. It's really good, guys. Keep going. Twenty seconds. Okay, just last ten now. Keep moving. Three, two. One, okay, perfect. Okay. Right, power lunge next or a normal lunge? Again, this is another one in the gym, ends up being cut short. We end up seeing this sort of thing in the gym. But really, a lunge looks like this. That's the bottom of a lunge. So if you're stepping forwards, right angle here, right angle in the back knee, Chest up, 
A power lunge is a switch. Let's get the normal lunge right first. So stepping forward, bringing that back knee towards the floor. Step back. That's yeah, so you're pushing back. You go forward, push back. Okay, if you think you've got that, then if you're feeling up for it, switch in the, in the air. Okay, three, two, and one. A minute. So let's go. Really push your body weight backwards. Very good. Lovely, Shelly. That's it. All looking good. Good range of motion. Good stuff, we're halfway. Just go back to normal ones if the, if the jumpings get too much. So lunge forward, push back. Bring that back knee down to the floor. Fifteen seconds to go, keep going. Last ten. A few more. Three, two, and one, good. There we are. <coughs> right, next one, mountain climber. This one, I often see this happening. But what we want to have is it doesn't touch the floor. Yeah, so you're bringing your knee up to here and then back. <coughs> so stand in that, that press up position. So your, your body's locked in, your bum is pushed down, bringing the knees in. Okay, you ready? Press up position, bum down, we'll turn it knees in, let's go. Bring your knees on the outside. That's it, so working your obliques. That's it, bum down. Try and bring your knees on the outside. So rather than up the middle, bring them on the outside. That's it. Be gentle. Yeah, perfect. Keep your body still. Bum down. That's it. Yeah, straight work all. Bum down, Linda. That's it. There. Now bring them up. Over halfway. Keep locked to the floor. Bring the knees in. 15 seconds. A couple more in there. Three, two, one. Good job. Right, that's the first five done. Five more. Then the warm up's finished. Okay, next one's a full sit up. Full sit up is sitting up and bringing the knees in at the same time. So we're here. If it's too much, just get the normal sit up right first. If you can, both. Okay. So the technique in this one is try to do the sit up first. So as you're sitting up, then bring the knees in. Don't bring them in too early, or you won't be able to get up. Okay, three, two, one, let's have a practice. So sit up first and then bring the knees in. Boom, good, Krish. Sit up, knees in. Sit up, knees in. That's it, and stretch out straight. Oh, perfect. Very good. Be in the SAS in no time. Feet don't touch the floor. That's it. Let's do the R squad. <laughs> Go. Knees in, Tony. Good. Legs out straight. So legs fully straight. Sit up. Knees in. Good stuff. Over halfway. Sit up. Knees in. Good stuff. Last 15 seconds. Five more reps in. Couple more. 
five, four, three, two, one. Good. Well done. Well done. Okay, next one. Single arm tricep extension. Some of you probably haven't seen this one before. So what we're going to do is lay on the side. Put this arm, so the opposite arm from where you're laying. So if you're laying on your left, put your right arm on the floor. And then it's the extension of the arm. So from there. So the hand underneath the arm. The other arm on top of the shoulder. And then up. So, let's have a look. All right, Tony, you're in the right position. Straighten your arm. Okay. Go on, Becky, push up. Good. All right, let's practice for 30 seconds on one side. All right. So, straighten the arm. Good, keep going. 15 more seconds. No. Work three, two, one. Okay, roll over. So the opposite arm. You've got an elbow at a right angle and a straightening in the arm. That's it. Pushing the arm up. Good. Go on. Good work, Jen. Push up, keep going. Couple more. Three, two, one. Okay, well done. Tough one, that one. End of the month, you'll be doing 20 reps at a time, no problem. Right then, next one. Plank T rotation. So, top of the press up, then from here, rotation. Hand down. Okay, let's get ready. Three, two, one. That's it. Really rotate the body around. So you're opening the chest right up. That's it. Put the bum down. Good. Okay, great, great work, rotating around. Very good. 30 seconds. Lovely work, keep going guys. 15 seconds. Last 10. Three, two, one. Well done. Okay, two more, and then the warm up is done. The next one is a renegade row. So, in normal circumstances, we would use a weight to pull up here. We just want you to squeeze. So, from here, there. So, just imagine you've got something contract, pull in, back down. All right, so you're working against yourself. Pull it as hard as you can, even though there's nothing there. So you're keeping your bum down, pull it up. Okay, here it comes then, minute of practice. So bum down, pulling up. Imagine there's a weight there, so you're squeezing your arm as it comes up. So you keep your hips firmly facing forwards, facing the ground, pulling up. Squeeze as you pull. It's good stuff. Keep going. Halfway. Keep it moving. Shoulders down, bum down. Pulling up. Hang in there. 15 seconds. 
Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Right then. Last exercise before the workout begins. Burpees. So, proper burpee. We're not going to lay on the floor just from here. So, some people know a burpee is all the way to the floor. But we'll be here to start with. Feet forward, jumping up. So the body goes from being, being horizontal to vertical. So you're straight in the press-up position. Time you finished, you've done a vertical jump. Not what we sometimes see is this, where you're just trying to stay low to the ground. We want to go up, all the way up. So you're like a pencil at the end. Okay, let's have a minute or 10. If you can get to 10, you can never rest. So three, three, two, one. Let's go a minute or 10. Sit. 10 proper burpees. Going, 30 seconds gone. I'll stop after 10. <laughs> 15 seconds left if you're not at 10 already. Okay, well done. All right, grab a drink when you when you're done. And then we we'll begin. We have for breakfast now, yeah? We're done. Yeah, that was just the practice one. <laughs> now we're going to give it a go. So, here's the challenge for today. You've got a list of those exercises. We're going to do 10 reps on them all. When you've done 10, we'll do 9 reps on them all. Oh. And 8, and 7, and 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, 10 rounds. You are joking, aren't you? No. You are joking. No, 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 this is it now. I'm going to join in as well. So we're going to do it for time. So if you want to do your own time, you can, but I'll, I'll have you on here. And I'll make a note. So um, I'll, I'll, leave, I'll let you decide if you want to mute yourselves or not. Um, up to you. So we're going to work through. Should have that. Has anyone not got the list? Does anyone want to know what those exercises are? No. Can you call them out as we're about to do them? Saves so looking at the list all the time. Yeah, but you'll be at different different paces, won't you? Oh, all right, fair enough. So I'll um, I'll be watching I'll be watching out for you as well. So joining in, but I'm going to watch out out for you. Um, you should be able to see what everyone else is doing, but I'll um, I'll keep an eye on everybody. Tell you what's going on. Okay, so you want us to do ten of each exercise, then. That's too far away. Yeah, so we're going to do ten of each. So we'll do 10 squat jump, 10 press up, 10. Anything where there's two arms, just count one, one arm. So that would be one, two, so that's five per arm. So at least that's something. Eh? <laughs> okay, are we, are we ready for the team, yeah. team challenge? Based on what you were saying, you'd rather our form was perfect and we were a bit slower than we were rushing through them. Absolutely. So this is a, it's not a race against each other. It's an assessment of yourself. So the idea of what we want to do, not that we're going to keep everything on here, but this is the type of thing we'll be doing. So I don't want you just to race each other. I want you to get better at doing this for yourself. So do everything properly. Um, I'd rather the press-ups take, if you, I want you to go all the way to the ground. So I'd rather have it taking you two minutes to do press-ups like this than you know, just, just doing it because you're trying to race the clock. So you're only setting yourselves, and this is what we were talking about earlier about the, the, the progressive overload. Things like this, the reason we're going to track it is so that when it comes to doing it again, you can see yourself getting better. You, you, so you're doing the same, you're not just going quicker, you're able to recover quickly from doing the exercise as opposed to just smashing it out. Okay, you ready? Yeah. All right, let's, let's do it. Three, two, 
One, so it's 10 squats. Let's go, so we're down. Press ups. Okay, Plank Superman is the third one. Power lunges is fourth. Mountain climbers fifth. Single arm tricep extension. Great work, guys. Keep pushing through. Okay. What you done then? Round two. So nine reps.
superb work. Everyone's moving. Keep going. So, hardest rounds down. Feeling good, Becky? Storming it. Let's go then. Eight reps. Keep moving. Superb work, guys. Keep going. Remember those first two rounds are the long ones. It's getting easier. All right, Becky, round seven. Seven reps. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, super work, everyone. Promise to get easier. Let's push through these tough rounds. Superb work, everyone. Keep putting it in. Stay tough. <sighs> Got on, Becky. Back to five, shall we? Jen. Keep going. Good stuff. See, we've broken the back of it now.
Alex. Yeah, keep moving, everyone. Really good. And they're hanging everybody. Be much easier. Work, guys, keep going. Twenty forty two. Monty, keep moving, Let's push through. Lunge you, Shelley. Excellent work. Well done, Lorraine. Get up there. Good stuff, Katie. Last round then. One round. 
Let's go. Push through. Oh, keep going, keep going. Pump out these reps. Tall now. 23.55. Is that someone else as well? Well done, keep moving. Superb work. If you finish, start to go into your stretches. Keep moving, come on. Done. Twenty-five thirty-seven. I'm done. Okay, right, well done, Kush. Twenty-five fifty. Yeah, keep going. Burpees there, Shelly. Keep pushing them out. Right. Gens off from the last round. Let's go. Okay, coming in this push through. Press ups there. Just sit up to the rain. Keep going. Well on, Helen. Boom. Well on, Jen. Boom. Good job. Twenty-seven twenty. 
Lovely power lunges. Okay, well done, have a drink when you're done. Start the stretches. Everybody else keep moving, keep pushing through. Last few rounds here. Everybody's on low reps. All right, Burpee Shelley. Good sit ups. Free for Shelly. Let's go. Good rotations. Okay, into burpees for two of you. Go dig in, push through these last few rounds. Great lunges. Okay, quick as you can, Lorraine, then. Last two rounds. Good sit ups. Work, Helen. Two rounds left then. Two quick rounds. Smash the mat. Come on, Lorraine. Great work, Burpee. All right, Lorraine, last round then, coming up. Let's go. Great work, everyone. Keep moving. Just push through now, all the way. A couple of minutes left. Well done, Lorraine. Thirty-one forty-six. Shelly. Okay, great work. Last round for Shelly. Let's go. Push through. Keep going, Linda. Burpee. Okay, well done. Both in the last round. Let's go. Finish them off. 
Let's finish within a minute. Let's go. Quick as you can. Good form as well. Great work, finish them up, burpee to finish. Thirty-three oh seven, Shelley, well done. Go on, Linda, finish them off. Yes, thirty-three thirteen. Well done. <laughs> Right, you're all unmuted, unless you've chosen to mute yourself, I think. Are you okay? We're good. Are we in time for the other class? Oh. Yeah, we go oh. straight into that. Yeah, but, Chris, you, you might know this. Can you start? Can you have two meetings at once? No. All right, we need to get off then, because <laughs> the other one needs to start. So you then, want it? Yeah. Well done, everybody. Do you stretch this to stretch every body part? We'll uh, catch up in the WhatsApp group. Thank you. 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 Thank you.